Here are the top seven reasons why scholars say the New Testament is reliable. ka -chow. Number one, no serious scholar thinks that the Gospels were written hundreds of years later. Even the leading skeptic, Bart Ehrman, puts them all within the first century AD. And he dates Mark to within three and a half decades from Jesus. But there are also other scholars who go much earlier. John Robinson, who shaped liberal Christian scholarship, dated Matthew and John to as early as 40 AD. If true, this would put the writings of these Gospels to within seven years from Jesus' resurrection. <laughs> Number two, most historians date the nucleus of the Gospel even earlier. Even if we didn't know anything about the dates of the Gospels, we can still date the nucleus of the Gospel to within just months of the resurrection. In 1 Corinthians 15, Paul talks about a creed that he received. The creed is that Christ died for our sins. He was buried, and he was raised on the third day. He appeared to Cephas, the twelve, then over 500 people at once. Most historians date this creed 30 to 35 AD. One scholar goes on to say that this was formulated as tradition within just months of Jesus' death. Can I get a wow? All of this shows that the resurrection isn't a legend that developed after many centuries. Number three, there's near universal consensus among scholars that Jesus existed and his crucifixion is even mentioned outside the Bible. For example, there's a Jewish historian named Josephus who wrote in 94 AD. He said Jesus was a teacher with a large following and Pilate condemned him to the cross. Number four, in general, the people copying the New Testament letters weren't amateurs. Different scholars have studied the manuscript styles to try to gauge the skill level of these copyists. One study from 2016 concluded this. The vast majority of the Christian papyri were copied by trained scribes. They also weren't in the habit of changing the text and writing whatever they wanted. There were some exceptions, but generally they were very careful to faithfully reproduce the letters as best they could. Number five, the Gospels and other New Testament letters are rich in detail. We find the names of cities and rulers and read about the people and traditions of that day. Archaeology has confirmed many of these details. For example, there are over 100 precise details in the book of Acts that have been confirmed. The book of Acts is extremely reliable, and the person who wrote Acts is the same person who wrote the Gospel of Luke. Number six, there's early evidence outside the Bible about who wrote the Gospels. Papias said around 95 to 110 that Mark wrote his Gospel from the notes he took while listening to Peter. Irenaeus, Clement of Alexandria, Tertullian all said Luke was the author of his Gospel, and they're all from the second century AD. Number seven, there are more manuscripts of the New Testament than any other ancient text. Yes, there are many differences between the manuscripts because they were copied by hand, and not all manuscripts are as early as others, but we can be confident that we know what the original message was. One New Testament scholar puts it this way, We are better situated to reconstruct the original of the New Testament than that of any other ancient book. <sighs> What it comes down to is this. If you don't think you can trust the New Testament text, then you really can't trust any ancient text. These seven points convince many that the New Testament is a reliable collection of letters. And if it's reliable, then Christians have all the more reason to place their faith and trust in the one these letters speak about, Jesus Christ.